Hello everyone, myself Dr. Kavita Sharkar, Associate Professor of Department of Mathematics from Vivekananda Institute of Science and Technology, Kolkata 145. In Lecture 6, I have discussed multinomial distribution. In Lecture 7, I am going to discuss on binomial distribution. PMF or probability mass function of binomial distribution. Probability at x equals to r is pr or pxr which is ncr p power r q power n minus r. In other way ncr p power n minus r q power r. Properties of PMF number 1 pr greater equals to 0 number 2 sum over r equals to 0 to n ncr p power r q power n minus r is 1 or sum over r equals to 0 to n pr is 1. Now we will prove the second property of binomial distribution. Let us expand this expression taking r values 0 to n. So the first term for r equals to 0, n c 0, p power 0 is 1, q power n minus 0 is q power n. Second term n c 1 for r equals to 1, p power 1, q power n minus 1. In this way the rth term n c r p power r q power n minus r in this way the nth term is n c n p power n because q power n minus n is q power 0 that is 1. Now look at these terms this is nothing but the binomial theorem we can write q plus p power n which is 1 power n because p plus q is 1 so this value is 1 hence the second property of PMF of binomial distribution is proved. Next variance. Variance of x, e x square minus e x whole square we know. Here e x is m. Therefore variance of x is e x square minus m square. We can prove it. e x minus m whole square is e x square minus 2 x m plus m square. We can separate this according to the property of expectation. 2m is the constant term, so we can take it out. Expectation of m square is m square only because m square is the constant term and expectation of x is m, so m into m is m square. Now minus 2m square plus m square is minus m square, hence it is proved. Number b, variance of x is Expectation of x into x minus 1 minus m into m minus 1. We can prove it. Let us take the same expression x minus m whole square as x square minus 2xm plus m square. Let us subtract 1x and add 1x. We can take common x. Then it is x into x minus 1. Rest of the terms are okay as it is. If we take expectation both the sides, then in the left hand side we will have expectation of x minus m whole square and in the right hand side we will have expectation of x into x minus 1 minus 2m constant term taking out expectation of x plus expectation of x plus expectation of m square is m square only because m square is the constant term. Now uh, expectation of x is m, so m into m, m square, minus 2m square plus m square is minus m square, we can take m common, then m into m minus 1, which is similar to the right hand side, hence it is proved. Mean of binomial distribution. PMF of binomial distribution is this, and we know the expectation formula, that is, sum over r equals to 0 to n r p r but here we have taken 1 why because there is a term r if we take 0 then it has no meaning now p r is n c r p power r q power n minus r this n c r we can write factorial n divided by factorial r factorial n minus r factorial r can be written as r into factorial r minus 1 these r and that r will be cancelled so we have got factorial n divided by factorial r minus 1 factorial n minus r p power r q power n minus r. Now factorial n can be written as n into factorial n minus 1. 
and below in the denominator factorial n minus r can be written as n minus 1 minus r plus 1 by subtracting one one and adding another one. Similarly, we can arrange the powers of p and q. pr can be written as pr minus 1 plus 1. q power n minus r can be written as q power n minus 1 minus r plus 1. Now look here, this n and p independent of r, so we can take out p means p to the power r minus 1 into p to the power 1, so that p can be taken out. And from here we can take one minus common, so we will have n minus 1 minus r minus 1. Similarly, in the power of q also, let us substitute n minus 1 as m when n is 1 m is 0, r minus 1 as s, when r is 1, s is 0. After substituting, we will have np sum over s equals to 0 to m, factorial m divided by factorial s, factorial m minus s, p power s, q power m minus s. This factorial m by factorial s, factorial m minus s can be written as mcs. Now look at this term. This term is similar to the second property of PMF of binomial distribution, which is sum over r equals to 0 to n and CR p power r q power n minus r is 1. If you take s as r and m as n, then you will have the same property. This is 1, so np into 1 is np. Therefore, the mean of binomial distribution is np. Let us find variance of binomial distribution. We have taken this formula for variance. Variance of x is e x into x minus 1 minus m into m minus 1, where m is expectation of x. Now we have to find this first term e x into x minus 1 for the binomial distribution. We know the expectation formula. We will put that, but here we will not take zero term y because you see, uh, that uh, r is there and we will not take 1 because r minus 1 is there. For x it is r, for x minus 1 it is r minus 1. And pr, pr is ncr, pr q power n minus r. And ncr is factorial n divided by factorial r, factorial n minus 1. By the similar manner what we have done to find the mean of binomial distribution, we will do it here also r into r minus 1 can be cancelled by this. Why? Because factorial r we have written in this way r into r minus 1 into factorial r minus 2. Factorial n has been written as n into n minus 1 factorial n minus 2. Okay. After cancellation we will have this factorial n minus 2 divided by factorial r minus 2. Factorial n minus r can be written as factorial n minus 2 minus r plus 2. Similarly, the powers of p and q can be arranged by this way, p power r minus 2 plus 2 and q power n minus 2 minus r plus 2. And here n into n minus 1 taken out from the sum because it is independent of r. Now look, this p power r minus 2 plus 2 is p power r minus 2 into p power 2. That p power 2 is independent of r can be taken out of this sum. And from this uh, term of the denominator, we can take minus common, similar in the power of q. Now let us take the substitutions as n minus 2 m, r minus 2 s. When n equals to 2, m is 0. When r equals to 2, s is 0. After substitution, we will have n into n minus 1 p square sum over s equals to 0 to m factorial m divided by factorial s factorial m minus s p power s q power m minus s. Uh, this term can be written as mcs. So it is same the like the property of PMF of binomial distribution. So that value is 1. Now it is n into n minus 1 p square only. Let us substitute these values uh, here in this formula of variance and after calculation we are having NPQ. So the variance of binomial distribution is NPQ. 
Here is one question. If the probability of a defective bolt is 1 by 10, find the mean and variance of defective bolts in a total of 400. Total of 400, so n equals to 400 and p is given that is 1 by 10. We know the mean of binomial distribution is np. So 400 into 1 by 10 is 40. And we know that p plus q is 1. So q is 1 minus p. Substituting p, we will have q as 9 by 10. And the variance formula is npq. Just now we have derived that or we have found that. And this is 36. Another question. If x follows a binomial distribution, parameters 4 and 1 by 3, then find probability at x equals to 1. Here given that n equals to 4 and p is 1 third, so we can find q as 2 third. And we know the uh, binomial distribution PMF, that is probability at x equals to r is n CLP power r q power n minus r. Uh, we'll take n as 4 and r as 1 and then substituting the combination formula and after calculation we will have this result. Another question the mean and standard deviation of a binomial distribution are 4 and root 3 by 3 respectively find n and p. We know mean is n p that is 4 and we know the standard deviation formula that is uh, square root of variance x and we know the variance of binomial distribution is n p q. So it is given root 3 by 3 and now we can take this np as 4 okay so square root of 4q is root 3 by 3 by calculation we are getting q as 1 by 12. There are two questions for you you have to solve yourself question number 1 for a binomial distribution the mean is 3 and the variance is 2 find the values of n and p hence find the probability that x is 5. Second question, a discrete random variable x has the mean 6 and variance 2. Assuming the distribution is binomial, find the probability that x less equals to 7, greater equals to 5. Books you may follow. Next lecture on Poisson distribution.